Pag-usapan natin ngayon ang quarter 3 week 7 of grade 7 math under the topic circle and terms related to it. You are watching Tutor Medge. So, let us define first circle. Ano nga ba ang circle? This is the set of all points in the plane that are the same distance away from a specific point called the center. Center. So, ano nga ba ang center? The point at the center of a circle. Ngayon naman, radius. So, this is the distance from the center of the circle to its outer rim. Diameter, this is a cord that passes through the center of the circle and the length is 2 times the length of the radius. Cord, so ang cord naman ay line segment whose endpoints are on a circle. Second, so this is a line that intersects a circle in two points. So, we have also the tangent line. So, this is the line that intersects a circle in exactly one point. Point of tangency. The point where a tangent line touches the circle. Meron din tayong tinatawag na angle sa loob ng circle. So, the first one is the inscribed angle. So, this is an angle with its vertex on the circle and whose sides are chords. And the other one is the central angle. This is an angle formed with the center of the circle as the vertex and the sides are two radii. Okay, para mas maunawaan, let us do this activity. So, as sabi dito, identify each of the following as related to the given circle O. Okay, so we have for A, segment OE. Check natin yung segment OE. From the center hanggang dito sa point dito sa circle. So, that is now the so-called radius. Segment BE. So, ang segment BE natin, i-check natin. From this point, yan, diretso hanggang doon. So, ito yung tinatawag natin, tama, diameter. Segment AC. Okay, hanapin natin yung segment AC. So, ito yun. A, C. So, anong tawag natin doon? Ito yung tinatawag natin, chord. Meron din tayo ditong line. Line A, D. Okay. Yung line A, D natin ay second. O, tandaan na, may pinagkaiba. Pag may dalawang arrowhead going to opposite sides, yung nakalagay na symbol sa taas ng ating um, letters, so ibig sabihin, yun ay line. Kapag wala naman yon, ibig sabihin segment. So, pwede rin kasing um, segment AD, pero hindi na siya magiging second, kundi magiging chord na ito. Okay? So, tingnan naman natin ang line FE. Line FE. Okay, we have here line FE. So, anong tawag dito? Ito yung tinatawag nating tangent line. We have also here angle GOE. Angle. So, angle G-O-E. So, take note ha, yung vertex ay galing sa gitna. So, ito ngayon ay tinatawag natin central angle. O, ito namang parang may kubo sa taas, ibig sabihin o parang may kilay, ito ay tinatawag nating arc. So, tingnan natin, G-E. Ito, banda rito yan. Ang tinatawag nating minor arc. And we have also the arc GBE. GBE. So, ang arc GBE natin ay tinatawag nating major arc. Okay, so paano nangyari yon? Ang basehan dito ay itong ating 
central angle. Okay? Yung nandito sa tapat ng ating central angle, yun yung tinatawag nating minor arc. Yung naiiwan dito sa likod ng central angle, yun ang tinatawag nating major arc. And the last one, we have angle ACE. So, ang angle ACE natin ay ito. A, C, E. Okay? So, ito, ang vertex niya ay nasa circle mismo. So, ang tawag sa kanya ay inscribed angle. Naunawaan ba? Like and subscribe to Tormed. Happy learning!